Hello. So, first, um, at least on camera, um, practical. I'm not sure if it's practical, but first measurement of a planar magnetic with the MFB circuit in place. So, I'll get you a little bit closer. There's not much light here as usual. So, there is the sensor as well as the, the thing that emits the uh, infrared. Now in this case I used uh, a piece of white polyethylene tape um, to reflect it so uh, it measures what the membrane is doing as well as I showed earlier this day what the panel is doing. So movement of, since the sensor is sitting on something else than the panel itself, it measures also how, how much flex there is in the Oh, the amp is going berserk. So if you see the scope there, down low, if I move the panel, oh, oh fucking hell. So if I just move this here, uh, where's my hand? Here. If I move it in this direction, you will see it there. I'll show that already, but I think it's still funny. I'll move it. Wobbly, 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 whoop. Well, anyhow, so that's what's it doing it's doing. It measures distance from this sensor to the white piece of tape. Well actually it's reflecting and then it measures it but there's something wrong with I don't know if it's the amplifier or something is what the fuck something is happening. Well anyhow I did two measurements with and without the MFB uh, circuit. Uh, I'm not feeling like making an overlay, so I'll just show you it on the left, which is the shitty method of doing it. But that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so, this will be the panel without. And apparently there is a hump here at around 50, 49 hertz. And this is with MFB, so the peak at 50 will be suppressed, while down low it will add. Now someone on, I posted the images already on DIY Audio, someone asked, uh, but a distortion should be better. Well, it's hard to measure, I mean, you're forcing a panel to do something that it's not capable of, or at least normally it's not capable of. So the only thing I can test is if it removed distortion here and clearly it did but uh, yeah overall it just extends lower than it actually is capable of by putting in more power so keep that in mind it's not ideal <coughs> you, you're better off in making a bigger panel that's for sure that's actually always the case <laughs> make it bigger uh, it performs better so this is more a gimmick or at least it's not a gimmick. I mean, it's more something to play with to achieve things that are not possible with a certain surface area. In this case, I will run into the limit of the excursion. So that's too bad. But uh, yeah, it, it is kind of fun. It, it did work. What I did differently than uh, what we did when Sander was here is I moved the sensor further away in the hope that it would like reflect from a bigger surface area to get a better reading. And now I can um, add much more of the compensated uh, signal than we could before it goes uh, mental. So I think I can even use like a bigger tape maybe. but did not try it yet so that might be I don't know maybe it doesn't work who knows uh, and the volume is quite loud let me adjust that a little bit I can play you a tune but I don't have the uh, correct uh, mic for this camera yet I don't know what they're doing at the camera express but it takes ages anyhow um, if you look at distortion itself I mean it's not much better 
it just shifted. And because it plays lower now, it's quite huge. But I definitely will play down to um, 35 hertz, which it did before, but uh, at lower output, of course. So yeah, I don't know. I think this panel does not have the control to use this circuit better. I use damping on the back of the metal right now. I'll show you. So there's felt. Felt at the places where the sensor is not. In the hope, my hope at least was, it picks up the uh, resonance of the panel and compensates uh, for it, so lowers it. And now here is felt, so it should be lower already. Uh, so overall, hopefully less of the main resonance peak. But it's still visible, but it kind of shifted. So I'm not sure, it might be that, well, I don't know, I just don't know. Oh, I bumped it. Is this ideal? No, it is not. I could play a tune with low end, but I don't think you will hear the low end and I'm pretty sure you will not hear the difference. In real life, it's already hard to hear the difference. And the reason for that is that the place where this speaker is standing never was uh, the place where all the bass came from. It was usually, um, usually it was on that side. So I'm not gonna play a tune right now. I might if I have a more better working thingy or when I got the microphone so we can maybe hear a difference because now I don't think this uh, camera is gonna pick it up. But as you can see in the measurements, things do change and I'm not sure if it's for the good or bad. It, well, things changed. <laughs> I think you need a smaller panel, higher excursion, higher membrane tension if possible, and then you can use the circuit to play lower, lower than the, the panel normally should be capable of doing so. Then again, if you ask, is the distortion better? No, it probably won't because you're just pumping in energy uh, making it bigger solves both lower distortion and uh, it can reach lower but well things get huge and I think that's where it lies the benefit of using the circuit is you can make things that are small play low and quite nicely so mostly in a dynamic driver as I showed yesterday or the day before small close box because they sound better as well. So for planar, I'm not sure yet, but I will definitely uh, try some more. I removed the piece of carbon fiber that was sitting there on the membrane, uh, as you can see, because it left some marks. So maybe I have to redo these base panels and give it far more tension. And then we can check again with using this kind of setup, see what it does. Who knows? I mean, no one did this before, as far as I know. So everything is kind of a um, gamble. Oh, and I did um, the second part. There was a video where I tested the ball screw whip and I made the second piece. Now the thing is, I had a bearing here that was like completely fucked. So uh, I threw it in the bin and this one runs a little bit more easy, but still, I think this one has more drag than the first one and has also a little bit more whip. So I guess the screw, this screw, uh, has a little bit more bend in it than this one. But yeah, well, what can you do? Anyhow, I'm making small, 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 very small progress. 
really tiny actually. See ya.